are very vocal about uh, freeing Hindu temples from state control. Right. So, could you explain why uh, this movement is necessary? Uh, so yeah, like you said, the free Hindu temples uh, movement uh, is something that I'm really propagating. And I see that Sadhguruji has also been doing the same and many others have come and joined this campaign. Uh, the thing is that when Britishers were uh, had invaded India, they had just come up with some draconian rules and just passed a blanket law, which mm-hmm. uh, uh, applied to all the other religions, whether it was uh, Muslims, Hindus, uh, or Christians. But the Muslims and Christians fought for their rights and they got excluded out of that law. But unfortunately, Hindus did not uh, do so. And because of which, there were some of these obnoxious rules that really applied to Hindus, uh, Hindu temples, where there was a lot of mismanagement of funds misuse of funds and to prevent these things I think it's really important to uh, free uh, Hindu temples and not that I'm against any of the government laws or rules because honestly I'm somebody who really thinks that the constitution or the government has come up with laws that are very relevant but especially this one I think that uh, freeing Hindu temples from the clutches of the government will really help in a way that there won't be misuse or mismanagement of funds so that's primarily the reason. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.